Welcome back, this is David Tierney and we're going to do a short video now on the menus and how to work with navigation menus within WordPress. Uh, hopefully you've seen the first video tutorial introduction to the WordPress admin that I, uh, that I uploaded to YouTube, but if you have not, I, I recommend that you watch that one first because I'll assume that you understand some of the basics about how to navigate around WordPress. So let's just say we've just logged in to WordPress into our admin area. We're at the dashboard and uh, we want to take a look at the menus and how to organize them and set them up. So we're going to go over to Appearance and Menus. Uh, and one thing about menus, this, this menus menu uh, is something that's new to WordPress, I believe, as of WordPress 3.0. Uh, or somewhere around there. So if you have an older installation of WordPress, this will not be an option for you. Your, your menus will be set up, uh, will have to have been most likely programmed and you wouldn't have so much flexibility in controlling your menus and how they're displayed. Um, but uh, So this is for people who have uh, a somewhat recent version of WordPress installed. Um, so what we have here, I'm going to minimize these just to keep things simple to begin with. What we have over here on the right side is a listing of the different pages on this website and how they are organized to be displayed on your website in the particular, particularly hierarchical relationship that you want them to be. So we have home, about, blog, and my services, and a subpage to about is David Tierney's page. We go to the website we can see there's home, about, blog, my services, and there's a subpage to uh, the about called David Tierney's page. So let's go back into menus. And uh, let's say that we don't want this to be a subpage of about. We want it to just be its own page in the, uh, in the main flow of navigation. So I just moved it over. It literally can just drag and drop. I just moved it over there. And I'm going to save menu. Remember to always save and we're going to go back to our website and there we go that's all that was needed it's no longer a sub page of about uh, it's uh, it's now its own page here so now we can go to its own page it's, it's, it's in the main top level of the navigation so we're going to go back to menus and make some other changes and see how they look if we want to uh, reorder how these are organized we can put uh, David Tierney's page maybe at the end. We can either drag down or drag up. Either way, we can just drag these pages around. Um, uh, what else can we do while we're here? If you notice the name of this page uh, in, the, uh, in the admin panel, let's save that change. Go take a quick look at it and then I'll show you something else. So we moved it over and we just changed the order. So now this page is over here, whereas before it was over about after the about page. Um, so let's go back to menus and I want to show you that in the list of pages on your website this page is actually called about us today but in the menu you'll notice it's called about by clicking on your right arrow and expanding your options you can specify the navigation label meaning the words that will be displayed on the website that will uh, in the navigation bar for that particular set page. So if we wanted it to say about us, just we would just edit it there. Um, and we can see that it says down here original is about us today. So it's referencing the page that is that, that this is linking to, but it's allowing us to change the name as it's displayed uh, on the navigation bar. We'll save our menu. Go back to the page. And we'll see now it says about us. So in this way we've seen how we can change the, the words as they're displayed in the navigation menu. We've, dis, we've changed the order by moving this page over here. We've pulled this page from being a sub-menu into uh, along the same level of uh, hierarchy as, as each of these. Um, and all of that is done right here on the right side with the, with the pages that exist. If we want to remove a page from the menu, we can remove it. So now it no longer exists in the menu, but that page still exists uh, in the WordPress admin. We haven't removed the page from the web from 
from it existing, we can still go into Pages, and that page is still here. We can edit it and work with it. We've just removed it from the menu, from the navigation menu. Uh, and if we want to add it back in, then that's where we're going to go over to this left column here to see what can be done over here. Um, so if we click on Pages and we open it up, it'll show us all of the most recent pages, view all pages, uh, and you can search for pages. If you have lots of pages, you may want to search for something, but view all. Here are all the pages in this website. Um, so we've got a home page, About Us Today. So if we want to add back in the About Us page, we would tick it there, and we would say Add to Menu, and then we'll add it down at the bottom here. It will always add to the bottom, and then you can move it right back into place where you want it. Again, you can make it a sub-page if you want or something, or we want to put it back there. Maybe we want to put this page back here. Maybe we want to change this back to just say About uh, and, uh, and do all that and save our changes and there we go. We've just, we've just done all that very quickly and easily. Um, so in this way you can see that you can, you can have many pages that you've created in your website but you may choose not to put them in the navigation for one reason or another. You may, you may, a page might be outdated or you might want to update it uh, or you may want to have it uh, available to send a link to somebody to a particular page in your website but you may not want to have the public find it easily through the navigation. You have control over all of that. Um, if you want to add a custom link for example to your menu you can use this custom links box uh, to just simply add in a URL give it a label and add to menu and there it is put that here maybe we'll put that down here and we'll save our menu and now if we go back to our website we can see that now there's a new link and by clicking on that link it will actually take me to the URL that I put in there which would be to my website. I'll go back, I'll go back into menus. So we've seen how we can add a custom link that's not on the website. Uh, we've seen how we can add, add a page from one of the pages that we've created within our website by ticking this box and just hitting add menu, whichever ones we want. We can add multiple ones. Uh, we can also add a, uh, a category, a link to a category page for a series of categories from your blog, for example. So listed in categories here will be all the categories in your blog, and you can simply uh, tick categories, add to menu, and this will be a link that will take you to a page that will show you um, all of the posts in that particular category, which, which can be a very useful feature. So it opens up a lot of flexibility in how you can allow people to find content uh, in, your, in your website. Um, theme location has to do with your particular website will have uh, a number of, generally it probably will just have one or two, but it may have more, uh, theme, uh, menus built into the programming of where your website is. So this particular website just has one menu and it's programmed to be located right where right where this is so right underneath the title and the subtitle is the navigation so that is the only one menu and the name of that is the main menu and so up here we've got one menu called main menu uh, and these are the components of that main menu if your website has more than one menu, let's say maybe you've got a, a second menu at the bottom of your website or maybe at the very top you've got a, another one, uh, you can create a new menu by clicking plus here and, uh, and then you, would, you, you could create a new menu and add whatever pages you want to that specific menu and organize them as you like and so then you would have two menus here that you would toggle back and forth between depending on which one you wanted to, to modify in this control panel. Um, and one of the last things I want to point out, there's a tick box here, automatically add new top level pages. So what that means is if you 
if you go to add a new page over here, you click add new and you create a new page and that page is added to the top level, meaning right here we've got home, about, blog, and my service is the top level of navigation. If you were to add a new page and give it no parent, then by having this box ticked, it would automatically be added into your, uh, into your menus. Uh, and so that may be based on how your flow is in adding new pages. Personally, uh, with this new menu set up, I prefer to have it unticked so that I can uh, create pages and then have the control to come at my, uh, when I'm ready and spe specify exactly where I want those pages to be and how I want them to be. Um, but, uh, but that is what that tick box is about. Um, and so that covers it. That is menus in WordPress and how to work with them and how to edit them and how to update them. Um,